Ang dalawang dekadang pamumuno ni Ferdinand Marcos at ang pagpapatupad niya ng martial law ay isang hindi malilimutang yugto sa kasaysayan ng ating bansa. I have uh, proclaimed martial law in accordance with the powers vested in the President by the Constitution of the Philippines. Ang People Power Revolution noong 1986 ang tumapos dito. Kasabay nito ay ang pagbaba sa pwesto ng mga Marcos at ang pag-exile ng kanilang pamilya sa Hawaii. Tatlong taon pa lamang silang namamalagi doon ay yumao na si Ferdinand dahil sa multiple organ failure. How was the last hours of being with President Marcos? During his dying He was moments. giving me strength by saying, Sweetheart, fear not. All our lives be committed on the side of the right. Like the sun will rise tomorrow, the truth will set us free. Ang pagyao ng kanyang asawa marahil ang bumaliktad sa buhay ni Imelda. Siya ang sumalo ng halos lahat ng kaso na ibinabato sa kanyang pamilya. Karamihan sa mga kaso nito ay tungkol sa pagkamkam umano ng mga Marcos ng yaman mula sa kaban ng bayan. Taong 1990, naganap ang sinasabing trial of the century kung saang milyong dolya ang kinwestyon kay Imelda sa kasong fraud at racketeering. Dito sa gym sa likod ng bahay na Katago, ang mga dokumentong nagpapatunay raw na not guilty ang pamilyang Marcos tungkol sa questionable mga kayamanan. Nakaayos ang mga ito na tila nakaabang sakali mang mga ilangan sila ng ebidensya anumang oras. We're entering the, the documents of the trial of the century. Oh! Here. 170 banks that Marcos deposited money on. These are the hundreds 350,000 documents used against me. Now, all of that, all the mines, all the banks of the world, 170 banks of the world, and I have the bill of lading, and these are all U.S. government exhibit, all of this. Just to show you the bill of lading, how much is two hundred forty million dollars? Oh my goodness! Is it million? Billion? 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 Two hundred forty billion? Only one shipment, and these are plenty of shipments. And then flight sketches. Do you think we started them all of this? Mm-hmm. But also. 2,900 hectares that green fields, Alabang, mm -hmm. that's all ours. I was going to build a satellite city for the poor. So, you know, we are not the thieves. These are the people. Mrs. Marcos, if we go by all of these, you are, you are rich beyond compare. No, this, this, this will save the world. The world. The world. Yeah, this, is, this is the reason why I want to survive. And it's not for me anymore. So, Mrs. Marcos, are you saying you're open to giving some or a, 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 an amount of this one to the country, to the Filipinos? No, not, not only the Filipinos, but the world. So, what are you waiting for before you can attain your, your, uh, no, your uh, you know, intention? With this, now we are tied our hands. With, with the whole press saying we are magnanaka, we are the magnanaka, kami ang ninakawa. Mm -hmm. We are the one who's took it. Marcos suffered so much for this. Ang naging depensa raw ni Imelda para maipanalo ang kaso, bago pa man raw naging presidente si Ferdinand, may mga ipong ginto na raw ito na lumaki ng lumaki ang halaga paglipas ng panahon. When we started, it was $32 and then $35. An ounce of gold. She's talking of gold. Now it's one thousand three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, eight hundred. Lagi iba iba. Iba iba. Ounce yan. How many kilos? And we are sitting on gold. We denied one my case in New York 
on my 60th birthday. I know, I was there. Yeah. I covered you. And then you had a small party in that small uh, Filipino uh, pub. Yeah. You know, after after in in after the court, everybody went to that small Filipino pub. Punong punong puno ng tao. Hindi ka makahinga. Kasi chest to chest na ang dami ng tao dun sa. Nagkaroon ako ng pan eh. Imagine alone, widowed, orphan, first lady of a third country, winning the case of the century. <laughs> Okay. Without, without a penny, without I did not have one piece of document or one witness. I could not afford any of them. Pero naghanda na ba kayo at that time, ma'am? May pinaghandaan na ho ba kayo? Na kung sakasakali, eh, ako eh, hindi maka, ano, makonvict ako. Uh, were there already, wala? I was, I, ako, I am resigned to whatever the Lord um, uh, has planned for me. Anyway, I have always followed whatever they say about the good, the true, and the beautiful, and that is God being, uh, made, is, that is God made real. Mm -hmm. So um, I followed that, that path, and if you're in that path, you're in the path of God and the truth, nobody can touch you. Can you imagine, I have now 986 cases, mm -hmm. and all of them I won, and this case, are not filed by individuals, they are filed by government, by the government. superpowers. Okay. And I have about 10 more, but I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. I'm at peace with the truth. Maging ang kanyang dalawang anak na sina Bongbong at Aimee ay kapo may pwesto ngayon sa gobyerno. Mrs. Marcos, you have entered politics again and so has your family. Senator Bongbong is uh, in the Senate. We have uh, Aimee as the governor in, uh, in Ilocos. Huh? It's, not, it's not for the honor or the pride. I've been first lady there and all of that on top of the heap for a long time. No, 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 not for that. It is the privilege for be able to give, to love. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you foresee, do you foresee another Marcos in Malacanang? Well, you know, you... I am only happy that my children, in spite of the fact that we have been so persecuted because of politics, the whole family, the children still love the, 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 the Filipino people and the country. Believe na believe ako sa mga anak ko. Gaya ng kontradiksyon sa bansag sa kanya na Iron Butterfly, ganun din marahil ang buod ng buhay ni Imelda. Parehas niyang natamasa ang kapangyarihan at prosecution pareha siyang minahal at kinamuhian ngunit sa kabila ng lahat ng ito tulad ng isang paru-paru pilit pa rin siyang lumilipat uh, i did not have the privilege of interviewing mrs marcos in new york because she was wow she was really so guarded but now i now have the privilege of doing it before i retire from my career and you are this and, your eye, and, and you have the nerve to ask me shocking questions. <laughs> no. Are they shocking? Really? Are were they shocking questions? <laughs> some some wouldn't dare. Oh really? Oh, but I think I would because I am coming anyway, with a uh, no, no, I am coming okay. with a very because, because clear conscience. I'm in transparency. Anyway, I have oh. nothing to hide. Correct. Let me now thank you very much for this interview. Mm. It has been real a real pleasure. Uh, talking with you and uh, we wish you all the luck in the world for all the good intentions that you have for yeah. our people and our country. Well, thank you. I need it. I, I need it because the Lord uh, intended this to be paradise mm -hmm. and to be there forever and gave us.